Hello everybody, it's Kit I'm on my way to work. I'm a little, I'm not late, I'm just huffing and puffing. So, um, here's a life update. Uh, actually, this week has been pretty good. It is Sunday, nobody is here. Uh, so, I've been doing pretty good, found out um on Tuesday I found out earlier in the week that one of my friends had passed and um even though we hadn't talked within the past year or two I always thought about her um so that was a big blow um I cried a little bit we had um a little vigil for her yesterday um, and let me tell you if you think that you are not enough um, in this world oh yeah I got a sandwich today if you think that you are not enough in this world hold on I gotta get in my bag and I'm doing it one-handed as usual ah. but if you think that you are not uh, loved enough in the waking hours or you don't know how big of an impact you have on people until you are gone this woman she was around my age um i kid you not she was around my age um her name was crystal total um she was a total tomboy looked the part kind of sounded the part you know, Dirt and Harleys were her favorite things to do. Loving her uh, kids. At one point, the reason why I'm talking about her is because at one point, she and I were inseparable. Um, that was how quick and how awesome our friendship was. And uh, Today I'm remembering her. Yesterday, like I said, we had a vigil for her and for a lady, for a woman who thought that she wasn't loved enough, there were a lot of people that she touched. Um, it was good just to sit down and listen to all of the stories of how this one particular person had touched everybody's life. Um, whether it was good, bad, but more often than not, everybody was talking about her sense of humor because she was funny. She didn't care about the inside looks. Uh, actually, nope, correction. She cared about the inside looks, but the outward exterior, she didn't really care about mainly because she looked like a tomboy. And she said, if I could walk around in comfort, so can everybody else. So she didn't really care about the outward appearance, especially when it came to me. Um, since I have Bell's palsy and all of that stuff, she absolutely loved me because I was unapologetically me. I couldn't hide anything. So I think that's how we became friends. Uh, we met through a church. Um, she was very active in the church. But what people don't know is she had addiction issues. Um, behind closed doors, she was dealing with depression and anxiety. And basically all she wanted was to feel loved and supported. And I think that's what everybody uh, wants. Deep down inside, she just wanted to feel loved. Um, because she was uh, a tomboy, people misgendered her and thought that she was a dude. But as soon, they were sadly mistaken when she started talking and talked about boys, like men. So... Yeah, it was just really, really, it was really pretty and it kind of humbles you uh, when you lose somebody like that. Um, 
so yeah it was very relaxing and then when I got home I did more of my cross stitch um, if if I haven't said in any of the vlogs I'm actually doing a cross stitch of stitch from Lilo and stitch for my bestie Michaela I'm almost done if you follow me on Instagram um, or you know I have seen my community tab on here um, yeah it's very pretty um, it usually most of my cross stitches take me a month or two to do because they are so intricate and so precise like all you're doing is making an, a teeny tiny X like about this big with string on a canvas and you're doing it repeatedly until you make patterns um, I'll probably do a video on it it's really awesome I'll do a short video that's yeah that's what I'll do I'll do a short video but other than that I got my coffee so that was my day yesterday thank God I had the day off um, which I did I had the day off it was awesome um, so yeah today nobody here it's Sunday so nobody is going to show up hopefully um, so today I have an, I have to train another person her name is Caitlin um, she's not a teenager but from the sounds of it she's kind of like a valley girl she's going to beauty school whatever that entails um, so you know that she's smart but yeah um, so I have to train her today actually it's going to be easy because when my training usually our training usually consists of like an hour or two of videos and then you have to deal with me and I try to dumb it dumb my job down so you can understand it I'm more of you know lead by example you know I'm more of a hands-on type uh, trainer so hopefully she'll like it um, hopefully she'll like me most of the people here uh, like me I did get requested on Friday to make somebody's sandwich so you know I'm doing a good job but um, with all that has happened you know with getting a call from on Tuesday saying that my friend had passed on Monday I'm doing pretty good actually yeah I'm doing pretty good um, for the past week or two I have been like I said I have been doing more cross stitch um, I want to get it done close to Christmas or a little after so at this rate I should be done hopefully by next weekend I'm so excited like you you don't know this has been going on for almost two months and a lot of people ask me why it goes on for two months um, to tell you the truth I I take a week or two off because to tell you the truth I'm dealing with a I'm dealing with thread and a needle this big so my hands you know easily get cramped up doing it so I can't wait to finish it I seriously can't wait <laughs> it's it's not about because I want to get it done it's the fact that you know I know who I'm giving it to and I can't wait until she sees it <laughs> so yeah but yeah so that is an update that's my Sunday update for today so yeah I'm gonna drink my coffee and eat my sandwich and then get started opening up um, I will see you guys in the next video so um, yeah have a good day